Hello, my name is Ilona. Today is Monday, November 27, 2023. And in this uh, video, I first want to talk about three articles. They are Dutch articles, unfortunately, but they have interesting points. First of all, the supermarket prices in the Netherlands are much higher. And that's because of the factories that apparently demand that if you're in the Netherlands, you just have to pay more for the same product than if you live in Germany. It's very strange. But they have this demand that if you are going to get them from different countries, same products, so it's the same factory, same products, but if you want to get them cheaper, they will not deliver to you anymore. So they really are forcing supermarkets in the Netherlands to get the most expensive products, which is very interesting. Why is that? It's been happening for years now, but apparently they want to do some things about it. They want to change it at the European Union. Interesting enough, they haven't done this, you know, the last years. This has been happening for a very long time, but apparently they now want to do something. And until that's through, because it takes a lot of time before it's passed through in the European Union, they want to use the Benelux Treaty. So that's for Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg. We'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. There is a European rule that if you want to use supermarket, uh, you know, products or you want to, um, how do you say, to sell them in the Netherlands, that needs to have a Dutch label on it. And in Germany, a German label, so of course people can read what's in the, you know, what's the ingredients, what's in it. I think that's very important, but it also limits getting your products from another country because then you will have a different label. I think this should be settled with the company owners, but I'm sure they probably have some lobbyists working at the European Union making sure they will take a long time before they'll be able to pass these rules. Interesting enough. Well, talking about, of course, all kinds of things happening on certain levels. We also have an article from RTL News, that's uh, Dutch media, and it's about the city councils and the people working there for the city councils. And there have been, for the past three years, 900 people or at least 900 cases of uh, using uh, their power or what they had for different things. And it could be very mild offenses like uh, filling up your uh, agenda with fake uh, appointments so you have a longer break uh, on to like getting away or trying to get away with 60,000 euro that's meant for poor children and try to pocket it yourself. And also there were two uh, city council people working in Amsterdam that actually sold uh, handicapped parking spots, not for handicapped people, so to speak. So they were just selling it. They were just falsifying it and then selling it. So all these cases, it's interesting to show because of course, a lot of things are happening also at the city council level. There are dark energies there as well. Influences people trying to get away with things. I spoke in my Dutch video about the bu bureaucracy and I think that's everywhere around the world. It's the government and the bu bu bureaucracy is so, uh, how do you say that? so slow in changing things and it's almost done on purpose i feel it is done on purpose to discourage you know people that come in that really want to change things change things for the better and they discourage those people at all all these people are like living on these islands and then i'm not even talking about certain dark uh, puppets placed in certain places that make sure that certain things won't come through or there you know there's a lot of um People helping other people, getting jobs, getting things like that. There is so much going on on that level. And it's very important that that gets cleaned out as well. So it's interesting to see that in the Dutch media, this is coming out and uh, people should be talking about that as well. But we have them on all levels and not just in the Netherlands, happening in Belgium, it's happening in Germany, it's happening in the USA. Those are things that need to be checked as well. All levels there are energies working against people or you know certain people with uh, tendencies to see how far they can get with certain things and because bureaucratic um, organizations are so isolated in a way it's very difficult to immediately pick up it's purposely done that way that's the feeling i'm getting it's a very strange system 
it all needs to go. At least that is my opinion. The other thing I wanted to talk about, this is very interesting. There is an inventor that invented the machine against the nitrogen crisis. Yes, he made it already in 2020. It was already known, but the government in the Netherlands doesn't want to know anything about that. There is now a pilot with a chicken farmer in Brabant and the machine is working even above what they thought it could do. It's really taking care of everything, all the nitrogen, all the... So it's really, the, the, the inventor is very frustrated that the government here in the Netherlands, eh, that's claiming there is such a nitrogen crisis and we need to get rid of those farmers and that there is a solution and they're not doing anything about that. Well, that's of course not a mystery if you are aware that this has nothing to do with nitrogen. They just need something to get rid of the farmers. They want the tri-state city, they want the food production, they want us to eat the bugs. So they have a completely different agenda. So of course they're not going to be very happy with an invention that actually is going to help all of this get rid of the problem that they want to use to get rid of the farmers and get rid of all the people in the food production. They want to make it as tough as possible, get rid of them, and then of course implement their real agenda. So that's interesting. I saw this in an article yesterday and uh, I think that it should be shared. I hope people in the Netherlands start sharing this. Interesting that uh, this is not spoken of. This is from 2020. He actually asked, I think, Senate people from, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, to look at Provinciale Staat. Oh, I think that's a different level, but there is there is government officials went there, not at the highest level, but like a middle level, so to speak, provinces, prof, uh, yeah, the provinces level. And they were very enthusiastic and nothing happened. So this has been known for at least three years. Three years. So I think this is perfectly showing the hypocrisy of the government here in the Netherlands and that this has nothing to do with the nitrogen. This is just a tool for them to implement their agenda. And if it's not nitrogen, they'll probably figure out something else. But they don't want to solve this now because I don't think they have a lot of um, tools anymore to come up with another narrative. And I don't think the farmers are going to... Uh, let that happen anyway, but this is interesting and this should come out because really it's it's in, in a way perfect timing because what are they going to do now? Why is this? Why? Why isn't this used? Why isn't this uh, a known? Why isn't this in the media? Interesting. So keep I'll keep this in mind, but I think it's very important that this comes out now. The first card reading I wanted to take a look at is, of course, in Gaza. There is now, uh, st uh, like, they're, they're, they're now stopped fighting for, like, I think, till today. And I just wanted to take a look what the energy was. Well, the first card I got was the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Page of Pentacles. We've got the Five of Cups. A lot of pain and suffering in the past and still happening in a way. It's awful. We have the Four of Pentacles underneath the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Temperance card and the Knight of Swords. So to me, this feels like things will be picking up again. Healing is coming in, but with the Knight of Swords, that is like, a, an, you know, the Knight of Swords is in a way coming for it again. This is, there is a plan being rolled out. Probably to get rid of the powers that are now there yet, that are still in control. I do believe, especially when you can see a lot of people in Israel are completely fed up with Mr. N there, Netanyahu. And he's trying to keep control. He's trying to push things through with these four of pentacles. Hold on. So most likely things will start again after this has transpired. But there is a plan being rolled out and I think it is, will be an opportunity to get rid of these puppets there, creating the chaos, creating the hurt. And people are just, you know, innocent victims there. It's just all the innocent people are paying for these dark energies on both sides. I'm talking about the dark puppets. I'm not talking about um, uh, everyone involved, but the top 
from both sides, those are the dark puppets, those are the dark energies, they are the ones creating this. A lot of people want nothing to do with this and certainly don't want this to begin with. But there is a certain healing coming, there is a balance coming in, so that's the energy of the temperance. But I see the Knight of Swords as well, so there's probably going to pick up again things happening in that area, unfortunately. That's the feeling I'm getting. But I do believe that this has to do with uh, getting rid of these puppets there. So I'm sure that Mr. N is moving. You know, if they get rid of Mr. N, that things will change. That things in that direction will change. And the true healing can start. Because there's so much pain, so much hurt going on there. My heart goes out to all the people that are unfortunately involved in this situation. And really, it's just awful what's happening there. So... I think it need to, some puppets need to be removed there to uh, really get healing going there. But probably after this ends, what's happening now, the truce that's happening now, that they're going to pick up again where they left off, unfortunately. The week ahead, I have the High Priestess, I've got the Nine of Swords, and I've got the Fool card. So I do think that more secrets are going to come out this week. That will create fear and anxiety for a lot of people. Of course, the people that are not aware of what's going on. But it will also create different, uh, different way of looking at things. The fool is like opening up. So I think we're going to have quite a rough week ahead of us. Things will be coming out. A lot of people, you know, in humanity are not aware of what's going on. It can be very frightful and frightening. Things coming out. But it's necessary because the secrets of the high priestess more and more will be revealed. And we can see in America things are coming out. We see, of course, these rings with children. More and more things are coming out. But the fool also opens up new possibilities. And if we really truly want to heal and go in a different direction, a new earth, we need to know what's been happening. People need to know and understand at what level this has been happening. So more and more things are going to come out. It will terrify people. So I think it, there will be a lot of anxiety. And then the advice, justice, nine of cups and the two of cups. It's very important to take a step back, not get drawn in with all the anxiety, anxiety that will be felt collectively. You should, could be feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of anger. Don't get dragged with it. If it still triggers you, uh, there are some things you can still heal inside of yourself and step away from it. It's very important to keep like an objective perspective. Don't get dragged with all the things happening and the collective energies that will be released because of everything that's coming out. Very important, embrace also the good things in your life. Um, do you deserve things? Because there are a lot of people growing up with the idea that they don't deserve love, they don't deserve uh, care, they don't deserve safety, and of course they will sabotage it themselves on a very unconscious level. So see if you can embrace the light side as well. It's important to work with your shadow side, but your light side needs to be embraced as well. We need balance. We need to balance things out and to heal things inside of ourselves. So see uh, things that make you happy, things and if you deserve that, uh, focus on yourself and see what makes you happy. That's very important. You know, a lot of people are wondering, what can I do? Well, you can raise your energy and you can raise your energy by doing things that you love, by clearing your energy, work with your shadow, but also by embracing your light side as well. Your, it's important to become balanced. When we become balanced, we heal ourselves. So see what can comes up. Maybe there are still things that are being triggered. You can work with that. Very, very important. We take a stand back, be objective. Don't get dragged in with all the collective energies happening outside of ourselves. Be grounded. Take good care of yourself and see what makes you happy. What is truly important to you and focus on that this coming week. And heal. Very important. Become balanced, heal, because that will have an effect on the whole of humanity because we're all connected and we're children of God. We are protected. It's very important to realize that. Hope to see you in another video. Bye.